so in this map it is given the trace of the map indicates a junction between sandstone that is 20 meter thickness and a grid 10 meter thickness okay so here the trace is given trace is given this is a junction between junction between a sandstone and a grid first you mark it sands note it down sandstone 20 meter thick and a grid of 10 meter thick Ten meter. So the trace is given. So this boundary. So the boundary between grid and sandstone is marked in the map. Okay. The sandstone is overlined by shale. So above the sandstone, there is a layer of shale. The grid is underlined by conglomerate. So below grid conglomerate okay so this is a sequence it is there so the boundary is given in the map is the boundary between sandstone and grid to trace this first you identify the point which lies the same contour so here the trace is for 50 meter contour here it intersected 50 meter contour here and here mark this point and draw a straight line connecting these two points this is a 50 meter 50 meter 50 meter okay so this one indicates the boundary between sandstone and grit okay next the same outcrop meets at 60 meter contour here now draw a parallel line When you draw the parallel line use the set square which gives an accurate value So now we have two, two sets of straight lines. So this is corresponding to 60 meter. So this one is corresponding to 50 and this one 60 meter. Okay. Now what you have to do, make a perpendicular line for this stretch or contour or the straight line. Okay. Whichever, wherever you want, you can put it. So first turn up and ring yeah. So on the layer thickness identify panne. Layer identify panna the gabron. The boundary. Kuduturka boundary and the Ure condor la. Same value with the condor la. Meet panakuri and the point is select part to go and the moon in the meet panada to go. Ang in the energy, new and the Ure straight line drop in here. Okay, one the render point connect. Then on the Aditha on the Ade structural control where India and the outcrop on the India chum meet other number where a controller. So if a sixty like meet panier, so you could parla, sixty la another node line drop and okay, but drop under the capron, so perpendicular on the base load line drop and now measure the distance between these two points, these two lines. So then the end line come at the lula distance of measure. So this is the 1.4 centimeters. 1.4 centimeters. So this is the mark paninga. So in the side line, mark paninga. 1.4 centimeters. So you mark the points. 1.4 centimeters. 
both side so mark the points so the or both the direction okay so mark it all the points like this so yeah so ella point vandu mark panni now draw the parallel lines okay so the mari it a drop in here so after drawing this now mention the strike values the bottom so this correspond to 50 this is 60 so this is increasing in this direction so 70 so in the direction is increase agide so paathuko rendu inda pakkam higher value irna inda pakkam increase aagum nottu ipo inge higher a irukanaala inda direction la increase agide so maximum 100 up to 100 you can mark so only 80 contour is there so that is sufficient so in this direction is decreasing 40 30 20 like that okay so this is a boundary between sandstone and grit okay so sandstone and grit so sandstone having a thickness of 20 meter it is given 20 meter so the shale sandstone and the steel the thickness of sandstone and the shale that we have to identify so yeah so sandstone ku shale ku ulla boundary so grid lende sandstone ku boundary basic grid ku ulla shale ku ulla boundary undu na mention identify pannu inda boundary lende sandstone ku shale ku ulla boundary undu identify pannu so sandstone the thickness 20 meter the thickness of sandstone is 20 meter so just add 20 meter to this particular value chedana so in the value oda or 20 meter add panni ana thickness vandu 20 meter so in the boundary vandu namu vandu solrom in the boundary vandu sandstone versus grit nu solrom so adude value idu so now vandu 20 meter add pannana you will get the boundary of sandstone and shale so this correspond to 70 80 90 so now 60 50 40 we have only 40 condo so that is sufficient okay now next one is the boundary between grit and conglomerate so the boundary between grit and the conglomerate so adu vandu 10 meter so 10 meter ngiradhu idoda keela irukke okay bottom la irukke so idu vandu 50 lende 10 meter reduce panikko 40 50 60, 50 so then in the value in the strike line next 60 60 so inge mark agudhu so same idundi 60 here and here then 70 so here here and here 80 here and here okay now try to complete this so 40 40 it is not coming okay so just connect this with smooth line
well next we have to draw the boundary between sandstone and shale so this line now represent the 70 value means of 50 70 so yeah so in the value in the 70 in the corner yeah the corona is on the boundary between sandstone and shale so it will meter extra so yeah so up in the power is 70 yes okay so is it 80 90 meter is not there so 90 meter control is not there 60 and then 40 now connect it Now this bed represents the sandstone. So this is the sandstone. So in the manga the shape. So yeah. Now so now now we have to draw the boundary between grid and conglomerate. So this become 40. It won't meet. Next this line become so so this become 40, meet here. Next this become 50, meet somewhere here that's it the next one 60 it meets somewhere here nothing and this this becomes 70 it meets somewhere here and somewhere here and this one 80 it meets here and here okay connect it Now mark the boundary very neatly. Okay, erase the unwanted lines. So I just drawn with blue ink. So you need a theory of the government. So I indicated all the detail. Now we just color it with various colors. So this is output. So this is for shape yellowish for shell, red for sandstone, blue for grid and the green for conglomerate. Okay. Now the entire map is traced. Now we have to find out the dip and strike. 